Hello everyone, bringing you an unboxing video today, uh, looking at some bits and pieces that have arrived from New Zealand. Um, a, a chap saw my videos looking at New Zealand kit. Uh, I've done one looking at uh, New Zealand ammunition pouches. I did another one uh, from some, some other New Zealand bits arriving. I uh, did another, another unboxing video looking at those. Um, another friend of mine who lives out in New Zealand sent me some bits and pieces. And I also did a follow-up video to that looking at some of the kit on the mannequin. So you may be interested to have a look at those. Uh, but a chap saw these videos, um, found them interesting. Uh, I've been giving him some advice and he very kindly has sent me this little lot of insignia, New Zealand insignia, I believe. Um, and we're going to have a look at, obviously, uh, the contents when I open the package up. Okay, so here we are. Let's see what we've got in here. list of contents here which is useful. You shouldn't cut it towards yourself like that really, but never mind. Okay. Put that off to one side, there go out of the way. Okay, so we have a, a list of contents here which I will have a look at as we're going through. Okay. So let's have a look here. The first thing we have, uh, we've got a little bag of Insignia over here. Let's have a look at this. Rank slides. Okay, so we have Staff Sergeant Desert DPM New Zealand rank slide there. A collection of different New Zealand rank slides. Very nice, I have to say. Second Lieutenant. In the early, again in the New Zealand DPM print, that's really nice. With the uh, the overlap of the colours there, really like early DPM stuff, as, as you may well have realised from the videos I've done. And the staff sergeant's badge there. We've got some New Zealand, New Zealand titles, New Zealand and New Zealand Special Air Service, New Zealand SAS. Um, the Kiwi badge, which very common to see on desert DPM clothing and so forth, and combat shirts and so on. National flag. Uh, and some more SAS insignia. Very nice. Woven cap badge. One in the packet there. She appears to have the stall faded, but the stall's coding and everything there, which is very nice. Um, what have we got here? Yes, again, it's got the, the barcode, the stall's coding and everything. Um, New Zealand uh, SAS wings. Move this stuff out of the way back here. Bag of stuff in here. So these look like brassards. They are. Uh, so we've got rank, individual rank brassards. So we've got Lance Corporal, Staff Sergeant, Corporal, Sergeant, and another Lance Corporal. Lovely. Very, very nice. A really nice collection of brassards there. And I think we have a couple of shirts in here. And that's it. Move the box out of the way. So we've got a green. Now this is mentioned on the list. You can see there, Defence Property, New Zealand. New Zealand SAS wings on the sleeve there. Short sleeves, which is very nice. It's, let's look here. Um, dark green Dacron shirt worn by New Zealand Defence Force from the 60s to late 80s. That's very nice. Lovely with the scallop pockets and everything there. Really nice design of, of sort of barrack shirt there. Um, Let's have a look at this one. Again, New Zealand Defence Force 1996, New Zealand Defence Force property, uh, uh, with New Zealand epaulets on this one, a light green. Let's just read here. Um, light green, that's the uh, service dress, all ranks, current issue shirt. So that's the replacement, I'm assuming, for the, the Dacron, the dark green Dacron shirt. So uh, again, I'll, I'll find out some more information about these. Uh, and for, have a better read of the list and I might well do some, some videos of these details of these bits and pieces in the future but that's um, a very kind donation to the collection from, from New Zealand so there we are, a really nice collection of New Zealand insignia there I have to say and the, the shirts are lovely as well, a really nice addition to the Commonwealth side of the collection um, as I say, they will be uh, I'll probably do future videos on these in more detail um, looking at the, the various brassards and the insignia and so forth uh, fingers crossed. Uh, certainly if I do a you know, set up the mannequin again uh, with New Zealand kit, it'll be nice to be able to put some rank on the shirt. Uh, so very nice addition from that point of view. Uh, if you like this sort of content, if you like these uploads, looking at 
British and Commonwealth military, then please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, and also make sure next to the subscribe button there, the little bell, uh, make sure you've clicked that so you're notified of future videos uh, when I upload them. There's also a Facebook and an Instagram uh, page, which definitely worth following me on if you're interested in seeing photos of what I'm up to, uh, reenacting events and so forth. And Facebook's also a good place to get in touch with me as well if you want to. Uh, the YouTube, YouTube's own um, uh, Instant Messenger is not very good at all, so Facebook's a good place to, uh, to send me photos if you want to, me to look at things and so forth. A uh, good place to get in touch. Uh, that's everything I wanted to say in the video, so until next time, bye for now.